Scorpios, I'm back. I'm so happy to be back. I can't even tell you guys. Like my cappy moon has been like work, work. No, work on yourself, work on yourself. Work, no work on yourself. <laughs> I'm so happy to be back, guys. You have no idea. Scorpios, you are my first uh, sign for this batch because water signs are first for this batch. Aquas, don't worry, your video should be up already, okay? Um, as a lot of you know, I was going dealing with Ascension and then all this crazy energy from Saturn and Full Moon and Pisces really impacted pretty much all aspects of my chart, which means all aspects of my life. I feel renewed, I feel amazing, and I'm so excited to get back to doing this. So for my newbies, hello, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. Uh, thank you for joining, liking, subbing, subscribing, commenting. I guess subbing and subscribing is, you know, repetitive, whatever. Hi guys, I'm just excited, sorry, very excited. So the way this is gonna work, guys, because I started doing this in the last couple uh, videos for the last batch I did for air signs, and I really like this. So I always meditate on energy before I get into the reading, and I used to do a pre-shuffle, but I decided I'm gonna do the pre-shuffle with you guys. I found that to be way more impactful, and I tend to get messages uh, you know, intuitively as well while I'm doing the pre-shuffle, and I would before too, but sometimes I forget <laughs> which one, what messages came through. That way you guys can just you know, be here with me as they're coming out, okay? So Scorpios, in the meditative session that I did, keep in mind this is energy I'm picking up in and around you. So energy that you could be experiencing directly or someone in your environment or someone that you're energetically attached to, okay? Scorpio, such beautiful fucking energy. I loved it. The first thing I saw it was really cool. I've never seen anything like this before. I saw 12 candles and they were just like in a giant circle, just kind of like floating in the air. Instantly, I was like, Wheel of Fortune. I was like, Instantly, that's what it made me think of. And I feel like there's a major divine timing at play for a lot of you Scorpios. And Scorpios, oh my God, it's just such, such great energy. And then I heard, Scorpio, now is your time. It's your time. It's your time, Scorpio. Doorways are open. Portals are open. It's go time, okay? I feel a lot of creative energy with you and a lot of birthing energy, which for Scorpios, that tells me you went through a recent death phase, okay? Um, not surprising, given the energy we're working with. And we had full moon in Pisces. A watery moon always affects Scorpios because you guys are water and you guys are very intuitive. Always are going to be impacted with a watery moon, okay? Especially a Piscean moon. But Scorpios, a lot of you have gone through recent death phase or some kind of, you know, dark energy. You could, you could have been sitting in a lot of dark energy or a lot of masculine energy to kind of purge some shit or some deep wounding of yourself to make space. And now you're coming into this amazing birthing energy. And I feel a lot of creative sacral energy along with that. They even showed me, I don't know how to pronounce it. I know what it is. I actually just don't know how to pronounce the word because they actually showed me the word L-Y-R-E. It's like a little like harp, like a little mini harp. It's like it would fit like in your hands like this. Uh, some of you could be making music, but I do feel this this need to create, this need to just go, like just fucking go. Scorpio, <laughs> doors are open. You know which way you want to go. A lot of possibilities are coming in for you. A lot of doors are open for you. And it's your time, Scorpios. It's your fucking time, okay? Um, I also saw an antelope, which I, I love seeing that because that's about speed. That's about haste. That's about get up and go, okay? So Scorpios, really beautiful energy. A lot of you feel really renewed. A lot of you are feeling empowered and you're just feeling like you've made a lot of space in your life now you're coming you can feel the new chapter starting Scorpios because you're intuitive <laughs> that's definitely a big part of it but you know that there's a lot starting you just have to go and seize it and you already know that you already know so get excited Scorpio because it's going to be awesome um so let's go ahead and get into this pre-shuffle all right and see what we get here mm. Please send messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it to come through for Scorpio, so Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of September. Keep in mind, guys, I'm doing these for the rest of September, even though your last video was up till the 21st, because we had a lot of timeline changes, and it's like, you know, let's just start from ground zero, and I think that's kind of the energy we're in, and Scorpios, I think that's actually the energy you're also in, like, let's just, let's reset. <laughs> reset let's just start building new shit here let's just start building new shit it's a new chapter it's a new book forget what has happened oh wow forget what's happened up until now scorpios it's a whole new time for you and for other people but especially for you scorpios okay please let messages of truth healing and love to come through for those who need it for scorpio so Moon rising venus and jupiter regarding love for the rest of september please let messages of truth healing and love for those who need it to come through for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of September. Mm. Ah, 
I just heard Golden take it. <laughs> I love that. I freaking love that. Scorpios, be mindful who you're doing business with. I don't know why that just came in. Be mindful who you're doing business with, okay? Uh, a lot of you, this newness is in career. Uh, just be mindful. Just be mindful, okay? That's what they're telling me. Just be mindful. Just be smart. Just be smart about it. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry, Scorpios. Hold on. I don't know how in the hell that happened. Give me a second. Maybe I'll have some tower moments. All right. We have peekers here. That's crazy. I didn't even see these. So hold on. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Scorpios. Lovers. That was a peeker. There's a couple more. I just like, I just noticed. Hold on. Because I'm like, do, 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 do. Oh my. Okay. Is there another one or did I imagine that? Nope. Just the two. Hold on. Just want to double check here. I was so caught into focusing my intention. <laughs> nope. Okay. Wow. Scorpios. Ay, 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 ay. Six of swords in reverse. Aquarian energy. So there's a really intense spiritual connection here. Oh, shit. Scorpios. No. <sighs> I, guys, I just got done purging a lot of shit. Now, don't, do not make me cry so quickly. Um, there's a spiritual connection here. And with all of this new energy that you're in, this birthing energy, it's almost like I have to leave him behind. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting with this. Because you're coming to such newness and Scorpios, I feel like you guys have... You know, Scorpios aren't afraid to go there, right? You're not afraid to go into the deep, dark depths of yourself to do whatever work you have to do to face the shit you have to face, especially all this time. This uh, last few days have been very karmic, right? A lot of, a lot of karmic energy and a lot of our past wounding. Um, and Scorpios, you're the masters at dealing with shit like that, right? Whoever you're dealing with has not dealt with it so well, okay? <laughs> um, and it's almost this energy of like, um, there's a lot of change, there's a lot of new, and I have to go. I have to seize it. I have to seize it. And you're still feeling this connection. I felt it in your heart chakra. Some of you might even cry over this a little bit. Um, it's like, oh, Jesus. It's like, it's actually pulling like out through my back. Um, such a very spiritual connection. But Scorpios, you're like, there's a lot of change. There's a lot of new and I have to go for it because it's my time. And it's almost like you're, you're trying to have faith. You're trying to have faith that, well, wherever I end up, Whoever I end up with or whoever ends up in my life, that's just what's supposed to happen. You're trying to keep the faith, but this connection is real strong. Really, 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 really strong. Um, I'm also feeling a lot of just like, gotta be honest, a little bit of mental torture here. But I feel like it's more with the other person, not necessarily you. Ooh, five of cups on the bottom. Yeah, Scorpios. All right, so let's keep going with this pre-shuffle here and see what else wants to come out. Mm, Scorpios. Oh. Okay, this is a little dramatic, but sometimes these messages come in as dramatic so that we really understand it. They show me Noah's Ark, and it's kind of like, I'm getting on the boat. Oh, oh, I know this is alluding to, this is alluding to timeline changes. I'm getting on the boat. You can come with me and catch up, but I gotta go. You know, it's that it's that saying that we always say as, as lightworkers, like, you gotta put your mask on before you put on anyone else's, and Scorpios, you're practicing that. Like, it's almost like, well, if they can't, if they can't catch up or if they can't see all the possibilities or if they can't do their deep, dark depths work or karmic work, I can't do it for them. And Scorpios, you know that. And you're like, I'm getting on the boat. You're, you made that choice. I'm getting on the boat. Hope you can be there. You know, it's that kind of energy. Oh, Scorpios, that's hard. That's hard. But you know, like, you know what awaits you and you just, you can't take your eyes off of it and you know that you have to choose you. Oh, whoa, well, that's deep. Oh, you, you know you have to choose you. Mm. But this person's so, you, you, this is not gonna be for everybody, but whoever this person is, Scorpio, you're so tied at the heart, well, many chakras, but it's almost like, for some of you, it's almost like there's been a fusing going on of your chakras which is why it's like you're feeling such a pull, but you know it's like you can't, like you can't stop getting on the boat. <sighs> yeah, you're doing what you gotta do for you. And that's okay, Scorpio. Can't save everyone. All right. Mm. Wow. 
Empress, Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I, this is where I'm feeling that major pull. And you see like her back is actually turned, right? It's like, and I was feeling it coming out of my back. Yes, yeah, Scorpios, it's like, you know, there's an opportunity here with this uh, intense spiritual connection, but you, you know, it's like, you know, you have to make the right decisions here, even if it means getting on the boat, you, no matter how strong that, that pull is, no matter how strong that pull is. Oh, it was interesting. I never noticed those stars before. The five stars. Do you see that? Oh, shoot. Hold on. See that? The five stars. Ah, oh, focus. There we go. Why do I feel five of cups with this? Yeah, I'm feeling more of that five of cups energy. All right, we're about to get it started. I just want to see if anything else wants to come through. Mm-hmm. I'm getting on the boat. <laughs> Tower in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because it's Mars. Yeah, and then four of wands at the bottom. I'm getting on the boat. You might not even, well, some of you might say that to this person and, you know, whatever way you need to say it. Some of you, I think, might even just say it telepathically or might not even have the conversation at all. But either way, it's like they feel that energy because you're so tied to them. Like, I'm getting on the boat. Really hope I see on the other side. You know, it's that kind of energy. Scorpios, let's get started in this reading. I know, sorry, I got real into that at 11.22. All right, so let's go ahead and do this, all right? Any messages for Scorpios regarding love from now to the rest of September? Keep in mind, guys, these are very general readings. Uh, messages are not for everybody. As I set the intention, messages come through for those who need to hear them, okay? So it's not your message, it's not your message, and it's all it's all gravy, all right? Um, I did get multiple messages for, for different people because I am reading for thousands of people. Um, just five of pentacles, just showing you. Uh, <laughs> wanted to take a little sneak peek, put it back in the deck. Um, so just know that. So if you hear like just one sentence out of this whole reading that resonates, take that home with you. You probably heard it for a reason. We are working with energy. So just know that messages can be vice versa or reverse. Vice versa or reverse. I do that sometimes. Uh, also guys, don't get caught up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. All right. Any messages from us Scorpios? Any messages from us Scorpios regarding love from now to the rest of September? Oh, this is cool, Scorpios. They just showed me like gold armor. I like that. Oh, I fucking love that. It's like being covered in like gold armor, which gold to me is just divinity, right? Scorpios, you're, you're coming into a time where you're feeling so, it's almost like you're getting more and more and more empowered as the days go on very very strong energy it almost feels very masculine too which i think is really interesting so even if you're a female it's like you're you're trying to harness a lot of that masculine energy to like really fortify yourself a bit um which isn't bad just make sure you're staying balanced okay feels very warrior like any messages for scorpios regarding love from now to the rest of september yeah create 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 they just said create 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 do not do not ignore any need to create, okay? Uh, if you feel the urge to write, write. If you feel the urge to paint, paint. If you feel the urge to make music, you better sit your butt down and go and make music. Create, Scorpios. Any messages from us Scorpios regarding love from now to the rest of September? Hmm. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love? From now to the rest of September. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love from now to the rest of September? Still feeling a lot of Empress energy, which I love for you guys. Oh, wow. Three of Wands, Aries energy. You feel a major distance with this? Your ships are coming in. You already know it, Scorpio. You can see it. Sorry, I shouldn't have wore this bra. <laughs> Um, but Scorpios, your ships are coming in and you can see it here. You can see it. Threes are going to be really significant for you. Really, really significant for you. I feel like something about like three messages or three people, actually. Three helpers. Three helpers. There's going to be three very significant people, Scorpio. This, this is very specific. This ain't going to be for everybody. Um, three very specific helpers or messengers, that are going to be sh helping you to see your your path, helping you to see like where you're going next, helping you, yeah, helping you to see where your abundance is going to lie and really pushing you to like 
that's exactly the path I have to walk for my dreams. That's exactly the path I have to walk for my abundance. Yeah, Scorpio is a very spiritual reading, I just gotta say. Um, I love it though. Freaking love it. Uh, but I do still get a sense of distance, and that might be from the person that I was picking up on before. Death, Scorpio. I love when the death card comes out for a Scorpio reading. Transformation. Yeah, whoever these helpers are, Scorpios, even if it's not three, there is something about three, though. So if you're seeing three, 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 just pay attention to that. Uh, but Scorpios, you're having a lot of like soulmates come in, um, soulmates come in or other, uh, you know, just very significant people to help you on your path because it has been changing. And you know that, Scorpio. And it's almost like you might even just innately know, like, I have to listen to this person. Even if you just met them, it's like, I have to listen to this person. I know I have to. Um very very like passionate Scorpio I love that a lot of confidence in that and really a lot of faith as well and it's it's just putting you more in your power more in your energy Let's see what else we have here any other messages from my Scorpios regarding love for the rest of September four swords in reverse interesting Libra energy yeah this is a major need to rest especially coupled with the death card. Like I said, Scorpios, a lot of you are changing and maybe these doors aren't going to be opening until your season, until Scorpio season. And until then, there's a need to rest and go through your transformative process. It's all the same energy we're dealing with. We just work with it differently, right? So Scorpio, some of you might still be in this death phase that I was sensing earlier, right? Before you can be reborn. Um, others of you are going into your death phase. Others of you are coming out of it, okay? So just know where you are, but that's what this is. You have helpers in this death phase phase of yours in this transformative phase of yours so you can be re you know re-emerge with more energetic space to go on your path okay but there's definitely need to rest during this transformative time Ooh. Ooh. ace of cups i love it i really feel like this is about your love like for yourself um having a lot of that self-love and also understand oh that you're loved scorpio oh shit knowing that you're loved Oh, this is getting deep. Knowing that you're loved by the divine, knowing that you're loved by the people in your life and by these helpers. These helpers definitely got a lot of love for you. And I, I feel like it's very reciprocal. Um, but knowing that you have so much love in so many different forms and that's only making you stronger. I like it. I really like it. Some of you definitely have a new love interest here, though, on the rise after this death phase or a new opportunity in love. Some of you definitely confirmation definitely do. Any other messages for my Scorpios? Any other messages for my Scorpios regarding love? From now to the rest of September. Let's see here. Oh, that's it. Overall, we've got, oh, interesting. We have Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Ooh, Scorpios. And the Three of Swords, Libra energy. Got some pain here. But with Eight of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like it's a slow healing. Scorpios. This is interesting. Someone's not looking at this pain. And I I feel like you're dealing with it through this death phase. I feel like you're dealing with it, even if it might be slow. Some of you might be taking your time with it. But this, I feel resistance to looking at something. I feel like someone's, yeah, I feel really strongly someone's resisting looking at their own pain. Almost feels like a numbing, like, I'm not in pain. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I, feel, I don't feel that. I don't feel pain. Mm -mm. I'm not hurting over that. Nope. 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 I'm not hurting over shit. It's almost like if I just say it enough, it will be. But guys, pain is pain. Scorpios, I don't feel like that's your energy. I feel like it's almost two sides of one story where it's like one person's like, I'm not in pain over it. I'm not in pain. I'm not like, I'm just not. I'm just not. I'm just not. And I think this person thinks if they just say it over and over and over and over again, it will be true. But no, <laughs> but no, I mean, it's right here, right? three of swords it's 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 there and scorpios you're feeling pain too um but like i said you're going through that death process and you're working through it some of you slower than others but you're working through it because scorpios aren't afraid to go there you're not afraid to go there um honestly <laughs> sorry my guys are talking to me it's a, they just said it's kind of like a sport for scorpios a little bit like ooh, how can i tackle this one you know and underneath that but guys we got five of swords okay Five of Swords energy. Yeah, whoever's feeling this. Oh, okay, that was really weird. You saw my hands. And this, this shit's been happening to me with my phone. Like, I think that's interference. I think that's spiritual interference. That is, that shit ain't cool. Uh, literally an app just opened up on my phone. 
You saw I wasn't touching shit. That shit ain't cool. Sorry. Speaking to the interference. Anyway. Yeah, someone doesn't want me to talk about this. Someone doesn't want me to talk about this. Like I said, guys, there's some there's someone here on the other side of the table for me, Scorpio, where it's like, uh, it, it's a very egotistical energy. And I, and I don't mean that in like a bad way. Not well, no, I don't mean that in a mean way. <laughs> I don't mean that in a mean way. It's just factual. This person's sitting in their ego because it's like, I, feel, I don't feel pain over this. I don't feel pain over this. I'm not hurting over this. I'm not hurting over this. And if I just say it over and over, it's just going to be true. But that's not how you get rid of pain. You get rid of pain by feeling it, right? Scorpios, you know that you're the masters of that, which is why you're going through your death process to do that, to do that, to clear it out, to make space, uh, and to basically come into this Ace of Cups, right? Wow, this is going to be interesting, Scorpios. I Seriously, someone does not want me to talk about this. I can feel it. Someone does not want me to talk about this. But let's go to this Three of Wands. I'm really curious about that. I feel like this is where you're getting a lot of that soulmate assistance, which I really like. When where you're seeing your your paths kind of open up here and it's like you're just gonna know scorpio you're just gonna know in your core like they're gonna be helping me they've got some guidance for me they've got advice for me that's i need to be dealing with that person you're just gonna know so let's use rider weight here for the three of wands talking about the three of wands you're really following your intuition scorpios and i love that i freaking love that i mean all water signs should well we all should but water signs especially because it's like for water signs that's like your compass you know what i mean that intuition for water signs that is your compass that's how you feel grounded that's how you can that's how you feel just very um content and reassured is by following your intuition every element is has a different compass in my opinion um but that's just my opinion so i'm at the three of wands for scorpio the three of wands for scorpio regarding love from now to the end of september i'm so annoyed about that phone thing i'm trying to let it go i release it time out three of wands for scorpio regarding love from now to the rest of september time out the three of wands for scorpio Talking about the Three of Wands for Scorpio regarding love from now to the end of September. Talking about Three of Wands. I just heard denial. Yeah, Scorpios, someone that you're very energetically attached to, for some of you it is that very deep spiritual connection. They're in major denial here about some stuff. Wow. And as I said that, look at this. Moon in reverse, Piscean energy, also Cancerian for me as a reader with judgment in reverse. Fire energy, also Scorpionic energy. Yeah, Scorpios, you're coming into more and more clarity. The more and more you're trusting your intuition and the more and more you're allowing people to help you and these soulmates. I really feel like some of these soulmates have been sent to you to help you out during this time to get you to that point where you can finally get to your rebirthing to seize all these opportunities for yourself. But judgment in reverse, yeah, it's like you're realizing someone is not using their intuition. You're using yours, someone else isn't using theirs because they're too stuck in their ego, okay? And when we get stuck in our ego like that, it really blocks out our intuition. It really makes things very murky, makes things appear like illusionary, illusionary. And with judgment in reverse, it's like, I feel heavy denial with that. You're, you're coming to awareness of that. And I think it's also pushing you to really focus more on what's ahead. And this Ace of Cups energy of just having love around you, man. Feeling love, knowing you're loved. Tell me about Three of Wands. Tell me more about the Three of Wands for Scorpio. Regarding love from now to the end of September. So these soulmates can come in the form of family, friends, uh, co-workers. They can come in any form. Some of you are going to be surprised that some of these people might actually be family members. Um... And for some, you're meeting them for the first time. Talking about Three of Wands for Scorpio. Talking about the Three of Wands. Whew. Tower. We got a we got a lot of majors here, guys. We got guys, guys. We have a lot of majors. Okay, just in the Three of Wands alone. Like I said, this point in time where you're getting this help, going through this death process to get reborn. Look, look. You got three majors here. Okay, this is very significant for your spiritual path and just for your your life in general this is a very significant change going on here not to mention tower universe um scorpionic energy could also be aries because this is mars influence this came out in your pre-shuffle as well uh yeah yeah scorpios you're this is whatever this energy is it's helping you to turn the focus in on you as you should 
as you should. If I could pick the cards up. Okay. So I'm over the three of wands for Scorpio. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, Scorpio. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'll show you guys in a minute. Tell me about three of wands for Scorpio regarding love. Tell me about three of wands for Scorpio regarding love. I just heard you can't change people's perceptions. It's true. You can't. You can't. Our perception comes completely from within us. And it's up to us as individuals to make sure our perception is accurate and clear based off what's going on within us, okay, and around us. Scorpios, I hate to do this to you, but look what just came out. Seven of Swords, Queen of Cups in reverse, Cancerian Energy, could also be Pisces or Scorpio with the Ten of Cups, more Piscean Energy, and then we have a Three of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn Energy. <sighs> wow. It, Scorpios, I mean, it's very clear. Like I was saying, you're turning in on yourself because you're realizing that, that there's someone here who has, uh, they're not seeing things clearly because their ego is messing up their, their sight, their perception. They're not seeing things with a clear eye. And with Seven of Swords, you know it. You know it in your core. And Queen of Cups in a verse, you know, you might have felt hurt by this or you might just be realizing like, wow, this person is not using their intuition, right? Queen of Cups is very intuitive energy. It's Cancerian energy. It's it's understanding not only what you're feeling inside, but what other people are feeling and be able to see that clearly. In reverse, there's no clarity there. But Ten of Cups, it's like, there's so much love there with this person, whoever this is to you, Scorpio. But with that Seven of Swords, you know that they're literally being deceived in their own perception because their, their ego is intact. And three of pentacles in reverse, there's no collaboration here. I, there's almost no communication too, is what I'm getting. Almost no communication. Um, yeah, Scorpios, you, you just know. You just know. And it's and you're accepting that like people are going to think what they want to think. People are going to perceive whatever the hell they want to perceive, even if it's inaccurate, right? I feel a lot of assumptions being made too about you, Scorpio, and I think you're aware of that. And you're like, this person wants to live in illusion. This person wants to be in their ego and allow their own intuition to be a little warped. Um, and it's sad because it's like, I don't think this person even knows it. This person doesn't even know it. And Scorpio is like, like it kind of breaks your heart a little bit because it's like, I can't do anything about that. And you know that. You know it. This person can't see clearly. You can't make them see clearly. So we're going about your own business. Two of Wands in reverse. Aries energy. Yeah, I feel like there's an energy of like indecision here. I feel like you've been sitting with this for a while. Like, I know what I want, but I know I can't really do anything. It's almost another lesson, Scorpio. Relinquishing control, right? And surrendering. It's always hard for a Scorpio. <laughs> it's always real hard for a Scorpio. Trying to surrender. And I feel like you eventually do when you come into this realization of the Seven of Swords energy. I don't think this person was up to no good or anything like that. I really feel like it's about the illusion of their own perception deceiving themselves in a way because they're sitting in their ego in denial. All right. You already know, Scorpio. Anyway, let's move ahead. I know it's gonna be a long reading. Death with the Four of Swords in reverse. Let's look at death and then we'll look at this Ace of Cups. I feel like this is really just your process, Scorpio. Ooh. I'm still going through my ascension, so I'm getting a lot of messages. But yeah, my crown just went boop. <laughs> it almost like it wanted to breathe. Uh, using Gilded Tarot for the death card. Tell me about death. And Scorpios, for some of you, this person might come to clarity. And for some, might not. But Scorpios, it's like you already know that it's out of your hands. You know that. That's a hard lesson for a Scorpio. Like, something's out of my hands. Yeah, something's out of your hands. <laughs> Tell me about death. I love you, Scorpios. I love you. Tell me about death. Tell me about death for Scorpio regarding love from now to the end of September. Tell me about death. You know, for some of you, this pain uh, is really just wounding of theirs. You know what I mean? It's just wounding. Not necessarily anything that's happened between the two of you, but some of the pain I'm sensing really is just like wounding from the past. And like I said, Scorpios, it's coming up because of all this energy that we've been in and we're going to continue to be in. And you're eating it, devouring it like a true Scorpio does. And this person is in denial about it. I'm telling me about death. They're, resist they're resisting. They're resisting going there. Tell me about death. I just heard trigger. Something was triggered between you guys. Um, you two might have triggered each other. You could have acted as a catalyst for this person. 
but I do feel there are some triggers involved in this. Tell me about death from us Scorpios regarding love from now to the end of September. Let's see here. Whoa, that's a lot of cards. I'm not taking that. It was like 12 cards. Tell me about death. Tell me about death. <laughs> like, we're going to give you a lot of cards. I was like, okay, fine. I'm taking them. Nine of Cups. I love that Scorpio. Piscean energy. Finding that happy place, right? Finding that place of just contentment, feeling hopeful, feeling full of self-love. It's like just feeling damn good and realizing that like life is so fucking precious, Scorpio. You already know that, but this death process is making you appreciate it more. It's bringing a whole new sense of like appreciation to you. Now. Now. Knight of Cups, Piscean energy could also be water or fire with the Page of Wands in reverse, Ace of Cups in reverse, and the Ten of Wands, Sag energy. This is a message of loss of love here or lack of love, and Ten of Wands is burdensome. But with Knight of Cups, I mean, this is like a, this is a message. This is someone's saying this? Hold on a second. Or are they apologizing? Oh, I heard rectify, rectify. So let's take the night away for a minute. Okay, so while you're in this death process, there's this energy of like, of like not having that love, right? Not having that love, feeling burdened, feeling stressed. Uh, I'm almost hearing like gossip and rumors kind of energy, like gossip and rumors. And whatever this is, Scorpio, it could just be negative self-talk. It could be negative self-talk. And again, this, this death process is helping you deal with this, right? Of either not feeling worthy of love or not feeling like uh, like people really love you. And like I said, it's like realizing you do have a lot of love and a lot of people do love you, Scorpio. You got a lot of love in your life. You got a lot of love in your life. And Scorpios, you're usually full of love. Like Scorpios are one of the most loving signs. You got a lot of love, Scorpio. And I think a lot of you have struggled with issues of, of feeling uh, like it hasn't been reciprocated or acknowledged or having or struggling with just having that for yourself. But Scorpios, I love that the sign of cups is coming in because for some, it's almost like these are the messengers, right? These are the messengers. These are the realizations of like, hey, love, 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 love. You do got a lot of love, Scorpio. <laughs> you do got a lot of love, Scorpio. And it's rectifying those issues for you, which is beautiful. I love that. All right. Let's see what other messages we get here for death. Scorpio, you're coming into such a happy time. Queen of Cups. Cancerian energy. Could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Again, full, full, full of love here. Full of love. Um, and remember over here, it's like realizing that someone's got some illusions or making assumptions, perceptions, what have you. And in that process, it's like, wow, there's a lot of love here, but it's like the person is such in denial or not seeing things clearly because their ego is getting in the way. And that really kind of hurt, right? But you also realize there's nothing you can do about it. Well, you're standing right back up again in this death phase, Okay. Keep in mind, guys, like I said, a lot of you are in different phases of this death phase. So just keep in mind of where you guys are at. Tell me more about death. Tell me more about death for Scorpio. Oh, my. Oh, I just got the chills when that card came out. Tell me about death for Scorpio. Oh, shit. Okay, Scorps. Some of you are going to have a little bit of a confrontation. Okay. Queen of Wands in reverse just came out. Aries energy could also be fire or water. <sighs> My heart chakra is like freaking out. Uh, Scorpios, whoever this is, this feels a little bit like a confrontation. As you're going through this death process and doing what you got to do for you, making the right steps, someone's getting jealous. Someone's getting jealous. Someone's getting a little angry here. Uh, and I feel like this person's very triggered. Yeah, I feel like this person's very triggered, whoever they are. And it's interesting because you're meet, you both are meeting each other at feminine energy, regardless of gender. And I do feel for some of you, not for all of you, but for some of you, um, it's it's this person where it's it's this person uh, who's who's really stuck in their ego and not seeing things clearly, not using their intuition clearly. And Queen of Wands is very intuitive, you know, within their own right. Whoever this person is, to you, Scorpio, you're both very intuitive, um, but you you come from very different. You both okay. You both are very, very intuitive. You both can harness any element you want at any time. You're both very, very talented as far as your spiritualities or your spirituality is concerned. And if you have abilities, because this is a very spiritual connection, you both are really good at manipulating energy, using energy, harnessing energy. But 
in this time of confrontation, you're coming from very different elements. You're coming from water, Scorpio. They're coming from fire. And they're coming in reverse, okay? Which means they're not really seeing things clearly. They're not grounded in their intuition. And they're not using this energy to their benefit. I'm going to say to their benefit because, again, I'm just getting a lot of, like, jealousy, a lot of triggered energy. Ooh, Scorpios. This, feels, this definitely feels like a confrontation. And you're sitting in love. Scorpios, I gotta be honest, this is gonna be a hard test for you. This feels like a test. It's gonna be a hard test. It's like, there's a, there's already been this triggery energy here. This person's very, very triggered, and it's like you've worked through it at this point of this confrontation, and you're sitting in your, you're sitting in your waters. <laughs> you're sitting in your scorpionic waters. Try to stay as grounded as possible, no matter what this person says to you, no matter how much they fly off the handle. Deep down, you know it's like, they're just working through their ego. They need to work through their ego and you know that. And so it's like, just try to stay as grounded as possible because they're meeting you with fire regardless of whatever their sign is. And they're meeting you with feminine and feminine energy. Just, and, and, and when that happens, guys, I actually think that's not really a good thing because, okay, masculine energy is about going in, giving, right? Fem feminine energy is about receiving and sitting back. So if both of you are in feminine energy, it's like you're fighting for the same thing. Scorpio, don't fight with this person. Let them fly off the handle. Let them vent. Let them rant. Let them do whatever they got to do. As hard as it's going to be, Scorpio, just come from a place of love. Come from a place of compassion. Uh, that person, I feel like, is actually really needing that because they don't really have a whole lot of that for themselves right now because they're triggered and they're in pain and they're in denying their pain, right? But because they see that you're working through your shit and you're doing what you got to do for you, it's making them a little triggered and a little jealous. And then overall energy... Oh, yeah. Two of Cups, Cancerian energy, soulmate energy, and the Ace of Wands. And then we've got this Five of Cups, Scorpionic energy. I feel really strongly that it's like whoever this this connection is for you, because some of you it's just a friend, but for some of you it is a romantic interest. There is a lot of love here and there's a lot of passion. But Five of Cups, there is a loss of it at this point in time. And then we've got Death in Reverse, wanting that to come back. So Scorpio, it, it almost feels like like you guys have been switching up roles. It's like... There's this pain, there's this understanding of like, okay, well, they're not seeing things clearly, let me focus on me, you focus on you, and then it's like, then they come in all all triggered and, and upset and aggressive. So it's like, Scorpios, you already felt like you lost this person, and then you go in with it on yourself to focus on you and do what's best for you, and then they feel like they've lost you, and it's just creating a very triggered, defensive, combative kind of energy between the two of you. So Scorpios, just, just try to stay as grounded as possible and as compassionate and loving as possible, even no matter what they say to you, okay? If you don't want to deal with this person, you don't got to deal with this person. Flat out. I mean, it's your life. You do what you got to do for you. And Scorpio's, like I said, a lot of you are getting on that boat without them anyway, okay? So whatever they say, it's coming from a place of hurt. It's coming from a place of ego. And they're resisting looking at that. So just know that, that it's out of your hands, okay? I know, it's intense, Scorpio. When is it ever not intense with you? Let's look at the Ace of Cups. Let's look at the Ace of Cups here and then we'll pull some advice. Um, oh, what well, is a Scorpio read? How can I not use this deck? The Centum Web de deck. Deck, not deck. <laughs> okay. Talking about this Ace of Cups for Scorpio. Talking about this Ace of Cups for Scorpio regarding love from now to the end of September. Scorpio, I do feel like you acted as a catalyst for this person in a lot of ways. I think that, um, you know, and Scorpios tend to do that. I think I talked about this in the last Scorpio read, actually. Uh, Scorpios tend to cause a lot of change in people's lives just because the nature of who you guys are or who we are, I guess, because I'm a Scorpio. Talking about Ace of Cups. Uh, sometimes people can handle it. Sometimes people can't, you know. Uh, talking about Ace of Cups. Talking about Ace of Cups. And sometimes I notice this, too. It's like sometimes... Uh, the finger will get pointed at Scorpio because the person is triggered because they're just causing change. Uh, even if it has nothing to do with you. This has nothing to do with you. Okay, Scorpio? It's their own wounding. Talking about Ace of Cups. Ah. Talking about Ace of Cups. 
Oh, the sun. Leo energy. Oh, I love it, Scorpios. I fucking love it. I love it. Tell me about Ace of Cups. Yeah, you got some beautiful energy on the other side of this death phase. Like I said, it's like divine timing, birthing, creative energy, seeing all these doors open for yourself. It's beautiful energy, Scorpio. And it's leading to abundance. It's leading to happiness. It's leading to freedom. Okay, tell me about Ace of Cups. Tell me about Ace of Cups. Tell me about Ace of Cups for Scorpio. Nine. I love this deck, but the nines and sixes are hard to see. Nine of Cups in reverse, which is really interesting. It came out reverse. Piscean energy. What is this bittersweet energy, Scorpio? There's a bittersweet energy here. Because it's like you're feeling... You're feeling so happy. You're feeling so free. And then there's almost like this little sense of like what could have been. Scorpios, don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there with yourself. It's don't go there. Just don't. <laughs> okay. Just don't go there. Uh, tell me about the Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Ace of Cups for my Scorpios regarding love from now to the end of September. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups. This is a message of love, Scorpio. It's almost like the moment you have that thought of like what could have been. Boom, message of love. Interesting. Scorpios, what the hell? All right, let's see what else we got here. Play more about the Ace of Cups. Play more about the Ace of Cups. Like I said, for some of you, there's a whole new person. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. And a lot of you, this is just that love for yourself and feeling surrounded by love and loving people. Tell me about Ace of Cups for Scorpios. Overall energy, we've got, wow. Four, whoa. Four of Cups in reverse. <sighs> Cancerian energy. And then we've got the Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. I feel like that's this person. Yeah, that's this person. This is rejection. This is rejection. Um... Feeling rejected. Thank you. Feeling rejected. Yeah, this person feels rejected and abandoned. Abandoned. Excuse me. Wow. Scorpios. This was like a big back and forth. And I feel like by the end of this, like when you reach this, this understanding and knowing that you're surrounded by love and the divine loves you, you've got people in your life that love you, you love you, and you're feeling happy and free. And you're like, damn, what could have been? What could have been with that person? You have that thought and you do get a message of love, an offer of love. For some of you, it's from a new person. Others of you, it's from this other person over here who's feeling rejected and abandoned. And it feels like they're really talking a lot. They're doing a lot of talking. Uh, uh, oh, all of a sudden, like my upper chakras are freaking out. Um, their throat chakra, they got a lot of stuff going on with their throat chakra. Oh, stop it. <laughs> oh, God. Um... They're coming in as a Knight of Swords, okay? And when, and when we get a Knight of Swords, it is a little tactless communication, but it's honest. It's honest communication. It might not be the most eloquent, but it is fucking honest. And this person feels rejected. But you're surrounded by love, Scorpio. I mean, God, look at all these cards. Hold on, if I can pick all these up. You're surrounded by love, love and happiness. I know this looks a little scary, but it is Ace of Cups. You got two Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Sun. That's being surrounded by love and divinity. And at the end of the day, it's like you still have that thought in the back of your head of like, damn, what could have been? And again, Scorpios, don't go there. The second you think that what could have been, this person comes back in. That's how connected you two are. Okay, so be very careful of your thoughts. If you don't want to hear from this person, don't just don't go there like if you don't want to think about this person you don't want this person to come in don't go there okay because it's coming in after a confrontation okay after this feels like after a confrontation when you've been reborn essentially um but yeah it, it just feels like they are doing a lot of talking and it's truthful communication it's just not very eloquent um i kind of want to pull more cards on this um I'm going to pull more cards on this. And then we'll pull some advice. Scorpio is such a long reading. I can't help it with you guys. Plus, I'm just happy to be back at work. And I'm talking a lot, so I'm going to shut up. Okay. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. What is this Knight of Swords communicating? Tell me more about this Knight of Swords. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Ugh. King of Wands with the clouds. Confusion. Confusion. What did I say about illusions, guys? What did I say? 
This person right now is sitting in their ego. They're in denial. They're not using, they're not seeing clearly. What did I say? They're not seeing clearly. It's the same person who's not seeing you clearly, who's not using their intuition clearly because the ego is, is mucking it up. And this is after you're coming out of your death phase. This is after you've had your lessons of love and self-worth and being surrounded by love and knowing that people love you. Oh, wow, with the coffin. Energy of eight. Uh, nine of pentacles, excuse me. Nine of pentacles. I definitely feel like this is you, Scorpio, with the coffin, the energy of eight, the eighth house, and the nine of pentacles being single and abundant. Yeah, this is definitely your energy. Um, They're coming in to communicate the confusions they've had about you. Straight up. Coming in to communicate about the confusions that they've had about you, okay? Do you hear those birds all of a sudden? Yeah, they're coming to talk, Scorpio. Once you've come into your new phase, and, you know, I really feel like this is them after the fact, like, having clarity. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords. Oh, shit. Yep. The woman. With the truth. Ace of Swords with the freaking clarity. What's the number here? 29, breaking down to an 11. All right? Yeah, this is them coming in being like, I was just confused, Scorpio. <laughs> I was just confused. I had all these illusions. My ego got in the way. They might not say all that, but they're basically going to say, I was just very confused about you. I was just very confused. And now I have Ace of Swords. I have the truth. Overall, we have the ship. Energy of three with the Ten of Swords coming out of that cycle, right? And, and traveling. This is energy of travel, movement, going towards, going towards. They might travel to you to communicate this. Um, but this is also moving past an ending, moving past an ending of a cycle, Scorpios, they're basically coming in with regret, okay? They're coming in with regret. Ooh, ooh, underneath that, we've got the tree. And I can't ever say this word, diviner, 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 diviner. Their intuition has been growing because they now have the clarity, okay? That's what this is. The tree's about growth. The tree's about growth. It's also about health and ancestry. Uh, I can't ever say that word, diviner, diviner. Basically, divinity and intuition has grown for this person, and now they see clearly because they have the clarity about you, Scorpio, and what has ended between the two of you. And they're coming in with regret and honesty. Okay. Wow. Scorpios, y'all are going to be busy. <laughs> you guys are going to be busy. All right. Let's get some advice here using the spirit animal deck. I do also have some new decks I want to play with, but I'll introduce them slowly. Okay. Okay. Any advice from us Scorpios regarding this spread? Scorpio, you're coming to such beautiful energy and so much fucking love, like in the form of family and friends and self-love and just spirit loving on you. It's like, you're going to be so happy, Scorpio. You're going to be so happy. And then for those who go to that place of what could have been, this person, that's going to trigger this person to come in. It's almost like calling them psychically. So again, just be mindful. Any advice for my Scorpios? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? 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 And yeah, when the, get, they're drawing me back to this confrontation, Scorpio, for some reason. Again, when this confrontation happens, whoever this person is to you, whether it's a romantic interest or just a friend or a family member, whoever they are, they are going to be in a very kind of low vibrational headspace. For others, it's just a place of not understanding why they're so triggered by you. But whatever it is, it, I feel like you're getting the finger pointed at you. I feel like, it, it and if, I gotta be honest, it feels a little like, it was a little unprovoked and Scorpio you might even just be like what the fuck <laughs> like you might just be sitting back like what the fuck is going on with this person uh again just know it's it's from pain whatever they're going to be saying it, they're triggered because of their wounding and their wounding has nothing to do with you it's just you're a change agent I, I, I said this in the last video but that's what this is you are a change agent Scorpio and you're triggering this person they might not even understand why but it's just you're gonna get the finger pointed at you they might say some shitty things to you and either way Scorpio just be very high vibe about it because it's coming from wounding that has nothing to do with you okay remember they're confused 
<laughs> okay? Any other advice from us Scorpios? Oh, that's a lot of cards. No, that doesn't feel right. I'm not taking those. I can't see what they are, but it just doesn't feel right. Any advice from my Scorpios? Any advice from my Scorpios? It'd be cool if we got the antelope. Any advice from my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any other advice from my Scorpio? All right. Oh, well, that's a lot of cards, but let's see what we have. Oh, mouse spirit, 10 to the small things, 40 breaking down to a four. We have crow spirit, co-create with spirit, 17 breaking down to an eight. Perfect for you guys. Oh, <laughs> cat spirit, claim your independence, 13, which is the energy of death, like quite literally the death card. 13, right? Very Scorpionic, breaking down to a four for stability. And Otter Spirit, you are never alone. What did I say, Scorpios? You are loved, Scorpio. You got a lot of love in your heart. You might not always feel like people had that for you, but Scorpios, you're you're surrounded by love and you will be coming into recognition of that. Also, yes, this is my very, you know, deep, deep connection card, like the two of cups, lovers kind of energy. Let's focus on these two first. With mouse spirit and crow spirit, this is you doing that death energy work, okay? This is you tending to the woundings of yourself, going within and almost like doing your maintenance in here, right? In your death phase, in your transformative energy. And with crow spirit, you have a lot of spiritual backing to do this and to get this done. And for a lot of you, you have soulmates coming in like little messengers, little like support group kind of energy. And you're just going to know instantly, like, why is this person hitting me up? Why did I meet this person? Oh, they're here to help me. Like, you're just going to know, Scorpio. You're just going to know. And with this, this is you choosing you, right? With that cat spirit. Choosing you because you know this person is trapped in their ego a little bit and that their intuition is not very clear. You know that, Scorpio. You know they're triggered. You know they're triggered and you know you can't really do much about it. So you're choosing you in this. Even though you still are very connected to this person, this connection is really hard to break. You're very connected. You're very connected spiritually for some of you, even psychically. All right. Let's see what else we get here. And Scorpios, a lot of you already know, whatever's meant to be is meant to be. Whatever's meant for you is meant for you. You already know that. Any other advice for my Scorpios? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Any other advice for my Scorpios? Oh my goodness. Any other advice for my Scorpios? Yeah, you see it, man. You see your path, Scorpio, and you, there's nothing going to stop you. You can't be stopped from your path. Oh, Scorpio, you got a lot of advice. All right. Owl spirit, you see clearly. 43 breaking down to a seven. I don't know why I'm saying that. And then buffalo spirit, the, the abundant universe will provide. Scorpio, you see the abundance that can be had for you. You see your path ahead through some of your helpers and through your own intuition because your intuition is on point right now and very clear. You already know what's for you and you're going to go for it. Nothing's going to stop you from it. And then we have, oh, so Scorpionic. So Scorpionic. You're not wasting any opportunities. You're not wasting any time. Vulture spirit. Um, nothing is wasted. 63 breaking down to a nine. Completions. B spirit. Sweet results await. God damn right they do. Okay. <laughs> With the energy of seven. You know your path, Scorpio. Through these helpers, through your intuition, coming out of this death process, you know where you're supposed to go and you're not wasting time. You're not wasting any opportunities whatsoever. Overall, See the big picture with giraffe spirit. 29, bringing down to, where's that, where's that chick? 29, 29, 29, 29. I had to say that twice, but uh, three times. With the number 11, you see Scorpio. You see the whole big picture. You see what's going on with this person. You see what's going on with these soulmates in your life. You see what's going on with these helpers in your life. You're starting to see the paths ahead. You're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel and you know exactly what's in store for you. You know exactly where you're supposed to be. And it's like, well, hope I catch you on the other side. Hope you can make the boat with me. Scorpio is very powerful, very, very powerful stuff. And I loved doing this reading. It was beautiful, a little intense, a little sad, but just true and Scorpionic nature, I guess, right? <laughs> so Scorpios, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Scorpios. Namaste.